In this video we will assemble the frame of the 3D printer. We'll start with the front section of the frame. So what you'll need for, for this step is firstly these two components. You'll see that they look very similar except this one has two additional holes in there. Then these two components, two M3 by 20 screws and two M3 standard nuts. Then you'll need a 6 to 4 bearing, a M4 by 25 screw, a M4 lock nut and two M4 washers. The first step is to place these components like this. Make sure that this feature is on your left hand side and that feature is on your right hand side. Then this one will fit on top of that one. And this will be the top and this will be the bottom. So then we need to assemble this to the bottom. So we'll place it like this. And these ones will go in there. And we'll bolt them down with these screws and the M3 bolts. Once you've done that, it should look like this. Now we'll bolt the bearing in between those two plates, similar as we've done on the, on the Z carriage, with the two washers on both sides. and the M4 screw will hold everything in place. When you're finished with that, it should look like this. And again, we only tighten the, the screw till it cannot rattle, not till the, the plates are everything against each other. When you're done with that, you can put this to the side for later use. For the next step, you'll require the big frame, the one with the writing on as well as the two triangles and 10 M3 by 16 screws and 10 M3 standard nuts. What we'll do is we'll insert the triangle parts from the back. The back is the, if the printing looks correct, that's the front. If the printing from the back doesn't look correct. So if this is the front, we'll insert this from the back like that and we'll use these screws to fix them in the, the holes provided. There's five for the one and five for the other. When you're done with that, your frame should look like this. with everything fixed together. For the next step, you'll need the frame that you've just assembled together with these two parts and these two parts as well as six M3 by 16 screws and six normal M3 nuts. So how we'll assemble this is we'll take this component, this is where the Z motor mounts. For the right hand side, the small hole needs to be on the right hand side of the big hole. Then we'll take this component and it slots into, into there like that. And then this will slot into this like that. This three screws mounting each of them, two from the back and one from the top. Once you are done with that, the assembly looks, should look like this, with the brackets fixed nicely. For the next step, you'll need the big frame that you've just assembled, the component that looks like this, this one, and these two. These two look very similar. Again, the only difference is this one has two extra holes. Then you'll need two M3 by 16 screws and five M3 by 20 screws and seven standard M3 nuts. 
Firstly, we'll take the big frame and assemble this component to it. I will do that is we'll put the frame like that and this component slots into the, the slots provided and we'll fix it from the bottom with one of the M3 by 16 screws. When we've done that, we'll take this component and fix it like that onto the one that we've just assembled. Again, we'll use the other M3 by 16 screw. Now, we will assemble these two components to the big frame. You'll see that there's, firstly we'll put on the one with the two extra holes. We'll put on both of them. And then you'll see there's five places where we can put in the, the five screws which is left. Once we've done that, it should look like this. And the structure should, should be nice and stable. In the next step, we will mount the Z switch. So what we'll need is the frame that we've just assembled, the Z switch, end stop switch with the cable. That's the one with the 500 millimeter cable. Then we'll need these two components. Two M2 by 20 screws, two M2 nuts, two M3 by 12 screws, and two M3 nuts, the normal nuts. I will do this is we'll take these two components, we'll place the switch in between them. So make sure that the the cutout provided for the screw is more to the the left hand side and the switch needs to be on the the right hand side and then you mount the switch there with the M2 screws once you've done that it should look like this and now we will bolt this down onto the big frame on the the same component which the the right Z motor will be mounted so you'll see that here at the front there's two two holes and you'll use the M3 by 12 screws to mount them from the bottom when you're done with that the assembly should look like this